Hello, and welcome back to my little corner of YouTube. I have not been updating as I promised, and that is my fault. I am so good at schedules, you guys. It's impressive. But anyway, I have decided that new year, new attempt at being more organized, and I wanted to share with you the house that I decorated for Halloween contest in my housing guild. I did not win, which is totally fair because the houses that were designed for that contest were absolutely incredible. Spooky housing is not really my forte, but I wanted to try. And I'm actually pretty happy with the way this house turned out. We are in Kragen home. And I wanted to make a house of a poisoner, a sort of a possibly a house where a designer poison was made that was then used in a story that I'd rather not spoil too much, and I already spoiled a little bit of it. But let's just say there's a story in this game, there's a poison, and I decided to pretend that this is a house where at least some of that poison was designed and manufactured. And without further ado, we're at the front door right now, and the house is a little claustrophobic, and that was intentional. I wanted to make sure that it feels like you are stuck in these walls, in this labyrinth of a house, with the trees growing right through it, because it's just so... Um, what is the word I'm looking for? Overgrown in more than one way. It's that the magic in it just attracts all the weird stuff to it. So we have a little uh, failed experiment hidden right there behind the bookshelf. We have all the bookshelves and the urns and uh, random chains with the red lights because, of course, red lights for creepy. And it's a labyrinth of a sort when you come in here. With all the windows closed off because we don't want anybody seeing what's happening in here. The books are necessary in here. Some tests on the poison that I wanted to have um, showing up as soon as possible. So we have dead bodies, weird, magically creepy trees. Gotta test these things, gotta make sure that everything works right. I added the skulls to the walls because, well, I thought it would look creepy, and I think it kinda does look creepy, so... The walls more closed in windows, more of the plants growing right through the house. And we are about to get to the end of the first floor and go up to the second floor. And that is where all the magic happens. Here's a bigger testing area of the poison. The very unfortunate Argonian right there who also died in service of making sure that the poison works just right. A little mushroom creature that, you know, grow on the mushrooms because poison doesn't affect everybody in the same way. More of unfortunate experiments, more of the plants that have been corrupted by this stuff. Closed off windows and going up the stairs. Here is our worship area. The poisoner, obviously, would be a Daedric worshipper, because why wouldn't they be? So they have nice altar with soul gems and candles and more closed windows and dead bodies, because sacrifices must be made, right? Sacrifices must be made on the altar of science. Here we have a soul gem swimming in blood because, of course, we're going to imbue it. We're going to steal the essence from it and then imbue the blood that we're going to add, add to the poisons. We have some Atronach experiments, you know, dead bodies because, you know, you know, gotta, gotta test. And we have some Daedra because we might worship Daedra, but we can also use it for our purposes, our books. You know, gotta experiment. That's gonna be our future experiment victims. And there's another one right there. Little experiments. And here is the workshop. 
I use the thrones because they, well, kind of look creepy and they're kind of cool and they have all the skulls embedded in them and I think they make a fantastic table for poisoners. So we have the drawers and we have all our more of our mushrooms and all of our poison supplies and we have some poison in progress and some blood that was just drawn from that right there, that altar. So we have the blood here to mix into the poisons and a little bit more of that stuff brewing. And so that's my creepy house with its trees growing and its buddies everywhere. And I don't know if it's particularly creepy. I don't know if I achieved the spookiness of this, but that, you know, that's my attempt. To be honest, I like it. I kind of like the way it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm it's the spookiest that I've ever done. <laughs> so that's the update. That's the house. Um, next house up is going to be another contest house. And I am going to try to make sure that it goes up next week. And thank you so much for turning in and for still being here and for watching the videos. I love you all. And hopefully I can be a little bit more consistent at things and I hope to see you all later. Bye!